how do you diagnose pancreatic cancer so the diagnosis of pancreatic cancer is a slightly challenging area the most common test when you have some abdominal discomfort in the upper abdomen patients go to a doctor for an upper gi endoscopy and an ultrasound unfortunately neither of these two tests can pick up pancreatic cancer so you know an ultrasound because i said pancreas is located really in the back of the body it's located behind the stomach in the intestine so because the intestinal gases you can't see the pancreas properly and uh, on the endoscopy obviously it is only the intestine and pancreas lies outside the intestine so you cannot see the pancreas properly so it is a big problem for us that you know many patients have lot of abdominal symptoms vague abdominal pain and abdominal discomfort they undergo multiple times ultrasound and endoscopy and the pancreatic tumors are missed and then by the time they come to us they present at a fairly advanced stage so once you have a suspicion of pancreatic cancer sometimes an ultrasound can pick it up i mean when you have a uh, pancreatic cancer in the head is, which is causing jaundice your uh, ultrasound can actually uh, pick up the uh, the liver has become swollen and the the ducts inside the liver have become swollen but especially when you have a suspicion of pancreatic cancer the best investigation would be a ct scan or a mri the ct scan or an mri not just tells us a uh, diagnosis gives us a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer it also tells you what stage it is at is it located within the pancreas has it involved any blood vessels has it spread elsewhere to the lungs or the liver once you have the ct and the mri sometimes we also do a pet ct scan whole body pet ct scan to actually stage any distant spread of the pancreatic cancer in some cases inside in the with the ct and the mri is enough to diagnose pancreatic cancer but in some settings there is always a diagnostic dilemma especially when you have chronic pancreatic uh, pancreatic cancer in the setting of chronic pancreatitis or when you have a neuroendocrine tumor you need to get a confirmation of pancreatic cancer by doing a biopsy test so even for the biopsy unfortunately because the pancreas is located in the back part of the body it's very in inaccessible location it's very difficult to get a biopsy so most of the time we do something called a endoscopic ultrasound so we put an endoscope at the tip of the endoscope there's an ultrasound machine that goes into the body and we put the endoscope uh, the ultrasound machine just next to the pancreas and then we take a biopsy or sometimes if the cystic neoplasms of the pancreas we can actually uh, take the aspirate the fluid and send it for testing so the us endoscopic ultrasound plays an important role in the pancreatic tumor diagnosis there are some blood tests used to diagnose pancreatic cancer the tumor markers like uh, ca99 and cea can be used but the problem is these are not elevated in all pancreatic cancers that's number one and sometimes other conditions can also lead to like pancreatitis inflammation of the pancreas can also lead to elevation of these tumors so these markers are good for follow up of these pancreatic cancers to see if once you do the treatment has the tumor come back for follow up but for diagnosis the tumor markers are not very useful in pancreatic cancer